Well, I made it back home. Yeah, I think it back home. And now I can show you what I have in my home. That when white contractors come in, what they got to look at. And I purposely leave them downstairs so they can see it. So they can see the dirty deeds that they did. The dirty deeds that they did. And I've had a couple of white contractors refuse to do work in my home because they couldn't stand to be left alone downstairs and I purposely leave them downstairs so they can soak it all in. See, they can't take this. They can't take it. All this information is out there. To say, I don't love black people, you don't know that. Blueprint for your freedom. For your freedom. Plan your work and work your plan. Doesn't say, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. And don't do anything about it. Those who wear dreadlocks, do you even know what they stand for? Do you even know that that is a symbolism of a crown? This man right here was a prophet that the Rastafarians, the ones who refused to be colonized, and they ran up to the hills in Jamaica and they settled there and they built homes and they kept their original belief system. Yes, Bob Marley was considered, as you all keep saying, mixed breed or half white. His father was white. His mother was black. See, this right here, the shame of America. But we love America. We love it. That same lynching is going on today. You know what Nat Turner did? Nat Turner set a rebellion. And when he set that rebellion, he had 300 men. And he told them, anyone that wants to come with me, we're going to raid every plantation. And we're going to free. Those who want to come with me, step forward. 200 men stepped forward, 100 men stayed back, and his order was to kill those 100 that stayed back, because he knew they would be the ones to go back and tell what his plans were. See, that's how we are today. Those that don't want to Fight, scratch, speak on the unfairness done to black men and women. They were so loyal, so loyal to a master that they were afraid. They beat that masculinity, that fear of death out of you. This universe 
is a 360. You're born to die. If you're going to die, die for something that's sort of future. You all don't know because you don't go on Twitter that much. And when you do go, you're looking for some dirt, some gossip. You're not looking to see that there's a race war being planned. You don't see it. That's the rest of my library. There's so many books I can't count them. I can't because I'm studying now like they studying me. That's a picture I drew or I painted. I'm not a drawer. I do abstract work. And what does it say? Land of the free. What is it showing? Oil. Land of the free. We're not free yet. Yes, I have a picture of Brother Malcolm. pictures of the African mama wearing dreadlocks. See, I don't know how to pin, but I got a picture of black Indians. Black. That's cold. That, again, was on exhibit at the University of Chicago for two years, sarcophagus, jewelry, the tools, everything that was made by the African. It showed how the Greeks came over to Africa to study masonry, hygiene, and most of all geometry. This is a postcard. If I take the back off of it, you can see the writing. See, they would write. So if a white person went on vacation and they wanted to write back to their family how things were going, they used postcards. And you ought to see the writing on the back of it. It'll make your stomach curl. I love my people. I don't care what complexion I am. I love my people. I have them all over my body. Over. I don't walk around with Betty Boo. I don't walk around with something that doesn't have a meaning. Do you know about Sankufa? Do you understand what Sankufa is? I ran into a young brother in the hood that had this same star up under his eye. And I asked him, did he know what it represented? And he said, no. And I explained it to him. Because it's all in our blood. Again, from Puerto Rico. What does this say? What are the Puerto Rican? Black.
the Ethiopian. Let me wait till it get clear. Black. Our natural noses are big. Our heads are longer. In some tribes, they put beads around the neck to make the neck very thin. Some mothers shape their children's heads so they can be elongated like this here. The power of the pyramid. power this I found in a antique store in Puerto Rico Puerto Rico consists of Puerto Ricans light skin dark skin you can have a mother and father they might have four or five kids. Some of them come out dark skin. Some of them come out light skin. That one I managed. And we had, I decided for my staff that we were going to do a potluck. And everybody brings something from their heritage. And one guy looked like he was white. His last name was Cariente. As a manager, I could have been fired because I said Puerto Ricans are like mutts, that they can have the same mother and father, and every child comes out looking different because of the genes. You want to talk about rituals? Sage. You sage. You sage your house. You sage. So because I'm light skinned and I tried to explain myself, I was dismissed. Totally dismissed. I made an apology if I stepped on anybody's toes because I'm not really. This is all of the different scents that are found. Some of them I got from my African mama. She didn't tell me what the scent was. She just told me to burn it. This bag holds crystals. We're going to learn which crystals you should wear, how you should charge them up, which crystals X out the power of other crystals. So your energy and your balance with the universe this when I first went to get it I asked a woman to pick out one for me she told me no you put your hands on it and whichever one that you feel energy from that's the one you get I hold it in my hand and I ask the question Charmaine are you happy with where your son is living at Well, you see how I became still once I asked that question. See, back and forth means yes. Side to side 
means no. Because the spirit lives on. The shell, the flesh, is what? Is missed. But the spirit lives on. They're your protectors. They're your guiders. They're the ones that when you're still and your gut starts talking to you, that's the most high talking to you. That's your ancestors talking to you. But we just hate one another. from a <clears throat> Europa artist. This is a festival of love. This is called the orgy, a ritual done in Africa. That's the name of this portrait. I have run a wall space two women are supposed to be able to look at one another and speak and work with one another not one milling not fighting not gossiping it is black girl magic black women were given that magic I have pictures of Alvin L, one of the first black ballet companies, who's now ran by Judith Jameson. I don't know what I'm going to paint when I paint it. I just paint it, whatever comes to mind. This is called the tree. Of Eden. And if you look close enough, you'll see a serpent. This, again, I don't practice, I don't speak on something that I have never, ever studied. This is called a Busadon. If any of you all watched the Tina Turner story, you would know the way she got rid of Ike was to start chanting. And I'm going to open my Busadon. It should never be. But inside are the words of another prophet, Nishra Daishone, who was banned from his home town because he was a prophet and the things he was speaking of they did not believe in that's another postcard making fun of us even more than us and here we are on YouTube making fun of one another so don't you dare Open your lips and call anyone a racist. We are racist to our own people. That is a mask. See, when Africans do their rituals, they put on a mask. That again was picked up in Puerto Rico. Haitians and Puerto Ricans live together. So we're going to get into it. We're going to get so much into it that I want you to 
really start getting some books. This I burn sage in. If I find a film, I will show you how the smoke was coming out of it. Because at the time, I was praying to the Most High. And I was cleansing my home. Anyone from the South knows about cleansing. Knows about burning sage. Knows that when you move into a new home, that you are to cleanse it. So don't ever accuse me of not loving my people. Don't ever accuse me of me saying that we're here by default. I gave you reference. Now I'm waiting on that reference to debuke what I showed. Someone debuke me. Anyone debuke me. If you can, I don't have a problem with saying I'm sorry. Even this mirror. All of this African drawings. You know why they can't break? The pyramids and the hieroglyphics in the pyramids because it's not for the white man to break. It's for the minds of the black man to break. We only use it one third of our minds. One third, if you're tapped into it. Oh, imagine what you could do. But as long as we fall for indoctrination, as long as we fall for all of this stuff that's being pushed in our heads, again, as Dr. King says, are we going to be in chaos or are we going to be a community? Again, I'm not here for money. I'm not here to be on PayPal. I'm not here to be on Super Chat. I'm not here for advertisement. I'm not here for any of that. I'm not waiting on a YouTube check to come in on the 21st. As a matter of fact, I went to my Facebook page. And I asked, if I told you my name on YouTube, would you follow me? I got a brother down in Florida that is knocking so much knowledge that I wish he would get on YouTube. We have to learn how to agree to disagree. That's why we got so much killing out in this world. Because one person doesn't believe what another person is saying. And then it escalates. And then next thing you know, a gun comes out. I'm glad they turned my page back on. Bench worthy. Any questions that you have, please put them down. If I don't know the answer, I won't stop until I find the answer. And I will give you reference so you can go back and read it for yourself. I encourage you all to keep a diary. Keep a diary. This planet is shifting. 
very fast. When people say that they not feeling right, or they woke up they not feeling right, the planets are shifting. Jupiter just collided with an unknown planet. Whatever happens up in that universe affects this Earth. Anybody that follows me, I left you with CERN. C-E-R-N. Please look it up. Had nerve to be a black scientist to get on CNN and announce that we have found the God power because man wants to be God. Please look up the boule before any of you all pledge to any sorority or any fraternity. Understand who's behind it. E O U L E. Boule. Look at the pictures. Look at the names. They have a meeting every year. The women are sent away. The men meet together and it's done in privacy. They rule black people. They rule the industry. They rule everything that happens with black people, that they have so much power that they introduce Bill Clinton to the head of the Illuminati. Those blood contracts are real. They come to the poorest neighborhoods. And they got it so bad that they're now signing down 60-40, which means that the industry gets 60% and the artist gets 40%. Yet we have people like Dr. Dre that are billionaires. We have Russell Simmons that are billionaires that for some reason cannot start their own record company, their own distribution company. See this tattoo? It was a sign of Prince. When Prince stood against Columbia Records for holding his catalog and distribution rights and he went by no name until he started distributing his own music see when you don't agree and you don't play that game that they want you to play you gotta go We're going to start from the very beginning. If anyone believes that we are the only species that exist in this entire universe, please leave a comment and please explain to me why you believe that. There was just an article asking, is Mars capable of people living on it? The owner of Virgin Records already has shuttles. They already have glass apartments they hover above the earth and for a million dollars you can get on that shuttle and it's enough food, oxygen for you to live for three months.
If you don't believe me, as Kwame says, Google it. But we're going to break all this stuff down. And we're going to see that your Mexican, your Puerto Rican is your brother. You're going to want to run from the government and government assistance so fast, it's going to scare you. Because the plans that they have, it's going to be like you being held prison. Because anytime the government does anything for you, anytime they provide anything from you, they own you. They own who you can have in your home. They own who can live in your home. You are all so busy on YouTube that you missed out when Facebook put an advertisement out for home inspectors. Why? Again, you question the question. Why are they hiring? Home. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. Why are they hiring home inspectors? Hmm? Somebody answer that question. Why are they hiring home inspectors? Do you know now here in Chicago, a city inspector can come into my house, inspect my house, and if there's any violations, I have 30 days to correct those violations. If I don't, I'm penalized monetarily penalized and I have 30 days to correct everything a city inspector finds that is not right and if I don't correct it even though this house is paid for they can take it over 20 thousand blacks have moved out of Chicago. Twenty two I'm sorry, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand have moved. So when you see that violence, when you see that bloodshed, when you see that fighting over territory, come to your state city and state. And yeah, they move into the South. They move into the South. They move into Dallas. They're moving. Study them. Study the Neanderthal. study when the most intelligent white man came. Yes, there are libraries. Ask yourself why does the Vatican hold your history? What is it that they're afraid for you to find out? Why is the Vatican a city within a city that police themselves, yet they're located in Rome? Why is it they have books, artifacts, Facts break words down are to facts about you 
that they are afraid to release to the public. But again, we're in that number nine. See, it's going to be revealed. It's going to be shown. And a lot of you all are going to realize just how much we fail for the okie dokie. I want you to YouTube the Asiatic black man. I want you to YouTube the ones, the monks that are able to levitate because they're kept away from the world. And all they do is connect with the Most High and the universe. And they're using more than one third of their mind. So I'm going to end this tonight. I should have began with Assalamu Alaikum, but I will end it with Shalom.